Hi, Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. And today we're going to show how to configure Yealink phones with Finality's Trixbox Pro IP PBX software. This is going to require a couple different steps in Trixbox Pro. We have to create the phone first, then we have to assign it to an extension, and then we have to manually set up the phone itself. So it's three steps, but it should go pretty simple. The first thing to do is to set up the phone within Trixbox Pro. So once we're logged in, we need to go to Extensions and go to Phones. So we need to add a new phone, and the best way is to use the MAC address. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to just grab the MAC address. And I'm going to put it in here. And Yealink is not a vendor that's supported yet. So we'll just go ahead and, and go with this. And we're going to call this a Yealink T26. We're going to add that device. Okay, so here's our phone, the Yealink T26. We've got our SIP username and our SIP password, but it's not assigned to an extension yet. So we're going to go over to Extensions, and we'll find an extension that we can use. And I'll just take this first one, extension 7002. I'm going to go down here to the phones and devices, and I'm going to assign that to the Yealink T26. And I'm going to update the extension. Okay, so now we have the phone set up, we have the extension set up, and now we need to configure the phone. We're going to do that using those credentials that we got when we set up the phone within Trixbox Pro. Let's take a look. So I'm going to come over here to the phone. I'm going to go to Account. I'm going to make sure that this is active. And our label, again, we're using 7002. We'll go back to our Phones tab. This is going to be 7002. Our label will be Joe. Camel and we're going to grab our SIP username. We're going to use that in our register name and username, and we're going to grab our SIP password and we'll put that into our password. And then we can come over here and just copy our host name and paste that into our SIP server. And a little further down, we want to put in our voicemail, which is 8500. And we're going to confirm that. Now, this should only take just a moment for the phone to come up. And there it is already, that fast to get the phone up and running. Well, let's double check some other settings. Let's go to the phone tab. We want to change our time zone. I'm in Pacific time, so I'm going to go to negative eight. And I'm going to change to local time servers, not the Chinese ones. So this will ensure that I always have an accurate time on the phone. And I like using 12-hour time format. So I'm going to use that. And I'll go ahead and confirm that. And I'm going to go to my DSS keys. And these are the keys that are along the side here. These speed dial or multi-function keys. Now these are only available on the T26 or the T28. 
So I can use these as speed dial keys, BLF keys, or other functions. If I want to set them up as BLF, I can just come in here, say BLF, set it for 7001 and 7001, and now that light will be green, showing me that no one's on that phone. I can press it to speed dial it, and if they're on their phone, that key will turn red so I can see their status. Go down here to the line keys, and now by default, each of the line keys is set up so that it can be on a separate extension. So the first thing people do is they tend to set these up as different extensions, and there's no reason to do that. What I like to do is just set all of them to the same extension. We do that in here by going to the line keys and setting each one for line one. Now this will work regardless of the E-Link phone. And now each of the line keys will all be assigned to the same extension. So if you're on one and another call comes in, the next line will light up. That makes it real easy to put someone on hold, take that other call, and then get back to another call. So regardless of which one of these I hit, now I can easily get to that particular line. I can hit my messages key. Mailbox. It'll put me into the mailbox system. So the, the phone is configured. It's got the right time and date on it. It's got the extensions. We can dial extension to extension. We can dial out. All the features are now set up and we can see the BLF function working on this top key. So that gives us a lot of functionality. In the T28, there's six lines, and even on this one with three lines, I can set one of these lines or multiple lines up as speed dial keys. So if I just want one button to go to a particular person, I can do that, but I prefer to do that on the DSS keys over on the side. So there you go, setting up the Yeelink phones with Trixbox Pro, very, very simple. Now today, you don't have all of the features. Intercom and paging don't work with the E-Link phones with Trixbox Pro. Hopefully we'll see some baked in support in Trixbox Pro for the E-Link phones in the near future. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.